right, welcome back. Fulani has men. Aisha Yusufu reveals what she told her father in 2016 on the right every Nigerian has. All right, the news in detail. In 2016, Aisha's dad had called to remind his daughter of his fears as farmers and as men clashed in Agbede Edo State a few days later. Our uh, dads talked how the community wanted to drive the Fulani Esmen away from the land. All right, Aisha then enlightened her father on the need to live in peace and allow them to be. And then she looked her father in the eyes, told him every Nigerian has a right to live in any part of the country. She further maintained that the Fulani issue might be a reason for us to whip up tribal sentiment. And now we have a voice that has been missing when injustice was meted on other on others. The other time she of course advocated unity among Nigerians, irrespective of the tribes and religions. Yes, there is a right and responsibility provided Fulanis are not possessed with the kill and occupy their land demons. Fulani elders were largely peaceful until terrorists infiltrated them and they changed from sticks to AK-47. We understand that every, Nigeria, every Nigerian has the right to stay anywhere within the geopolitical zone but how do we handle the situation by which they kill villagers in their farms telling them to leave a particular place by avoiding future occurrence of death okay and then you can't have a bunch of people live in the bush and from there maim rape and destroy people's livelihood without trace or track recently some people taxed them to buy land and dwell in like other do everywhere but mind you insecurity comes from the fact that there is no database even you that have bought a house you think if you want to vanish without a trace it's impossible all right, so why stressing ourselves with a minor issue that won't still solve the major issue? All right, and then that have been said so far by Aisha Yesufo. All right, and then according to her, she said, you know, a long time ago, she had made her father know that you no, know, everybody can stay anywhere as far as Nigeria is concerned that you cannot send people out of you no. Know, any part of the country well i think that i think that is one of the rules and but the fear is that most of all these elders it's men so to say they are uh, made nigeria a place they have made it unbearable for every citizen that there is no more love and that is it there is no more love in the land and that is why you will see a lot of atrocity no being perpetrated every now and then. People will not, are not able to go to their farmland again because of this same uh, so-called Fulani Edsman. And uh, this has caused a lot of you no know, chaos in the land. And uh, now, not that nobody is saying this person should not stay in our land. Nobody is you know, disputing that, that you can't stay in my land. But the problem, the problem has been that when you are asked to stay in a land and you are coming there to even you no know, send the owners of the land away, you no, know, you want to take over their land. That is where the problem is. Before now, everybody has been living peacefully, and then it's been uh, a thing of joy. But of recent, you can imagine what has been going on in the country: killing, rape, maiming, every now and then. And that is why a lot of people have been like, okay, fine. If that is the case, remain in your 
in your state let me be in my state and if it is the aspect because of the fact that you people are giving us cow cow meat you are giving us beef then let's stop the eating of beef i think there was a time this so agitation was on that a lot of people were like okay fine if that is the case uh, let the fulani let the northerners let them go with their cow then we will look for another meat at least there is chicken we can eat chicken or we concentrate more on fish you know a lot of no agitations like that came up then simply because of the same problem nobody is you no know, disputing the fact that we can stay together but the the situation whereby someone in whom you have invited to your own zone to you know that you have invited to, that you want to accommodate in your own house will now come to tell you what and what to do in fact even if they are even telling you what to do is another thing but this time around they are trying to occupy the land try to kill you try to make sure they overtake everything and that uh, that is where the problem emanates from and then uh, because of that a lot of people have been like well if that is the case we can't continue like this south 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 east and uh, southwest and the rest of the places they are very peaceful people they are loving people but because of the evil agenda these so-called x-men have in mind that is why the country has been in a mess right now as we speak so now I share boy, I said that well, we can always live together. You can't you can't tell somebody to leave your land. We are all Nigerians. But how are we going to maintain this since there's been a problem or there's been problems of insecurity in the land? Somebody wants to send you out of your own land. That has been the problem. We can't always you can't continue to say that the good Lord help us. We need to help ourselves. Yes, by the time you start praying, okay, let's pray that the good Lord should help us. Why can't we do that? See, everyone help those who help themselves. You need to know, you need to start up something. And that is it. You need to start up something before you now say, okay, fine. Oh, yes, as it is right now, I we want them to listen to us. We want God to help us. We need to help ourselves. And that has been the whole situation right now. Well, Aisha Yusufu has said a lot about that. And it's a very good one. It's a welcome idea. And somebody was saying online that, okay, fine. Look at what the Northerners are doing in the North. That no South, South, Southerners can you no know, try that in the North. They will not even, you will not even live to see the light of the day. You just try it that all these things that the Fulani men are doing in the South, South, Southwest, and the rest of it. You, as a Southern person, eh, South, South person, go to North and try that if you will live to tell the story. And that has been the problem we have so far in the country. And the, the good Lord will continue to help us all on to this one. All right, my people, that is it on this one. Well, let me have your take on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.